dear students today we will discuss about the indian ocean dipole which is uh, one of the most important phenomena that is occurring in indian ocean and also this is one of the most important topic usually asked in csir net upsc and the psc examination so before uh, going to the detailed study first we, we will define what is indian ocean dipole so the indian ocean dipole is first observed by the sadi et al in 1999 his classic paper in nature and defined the indian ocean as the indian ocean dipole has been defined as the sea surface temperature between tropical indian ocean and the tropical south eastern indian ocean or it may be defined as the difference in sea surface temperature between two areas or poles as its name indian ocean dipole a western pole in the arabian sea that is vary from 50 degree east to 17 degree east and 10 degree south to 10 degree north in the arabian sea or we can say that in the western indian ocean and an eastern pole which is located in the eastern indian ocean south of indonesia between the uh, latitudes 90 degree east to 110 degree east to 10 degree south the thing which is very important and we can uh, point out here that the indian ocean is between the western indian ocean and the south eastern indian ocean so in this phenomena there is nothing related to the uh, bay of bengal part of indian ocean other attributes of the indian ocean are which is uh, very important basically iod is a coupled oceanic atm atmospheric phenomena this is nothing related to the only ocean and only atmosphere it is a coupled phenomena which is significantly drawn by the ocean or the atmosphere activity likely similar to the el nino as i told you in the first slide it is first noted by the dr saji et al in 1999 iod have three phases namely neutral phase positive phase and negative phase the uh, iod events usually start around may june and peak between august to october the first we will discuss about the neutral phase of the indian ocean dipole during the neutral phase of the indian ocean dipole the surface water in the indian ocean is nearly evenly warm as we can see that in this picture the temperature throughout the indian ocean is nearly same and the equatorial thermocline which is present in the indian ocean is nearly uh, stable it is not uh, shallow or deep in the eastern or western part of the indian ocean the next part is the positive iod which is uh, important part of the uh, indian ocean dipole so what is the phenomena and how basically this phenomena is uh, take place in the indian ocean dipole and how it affect various component of the surrounding climate around the indian ocean like the climate of australia indian subcontinent and the african countries so what happen during the positive iod phase the warmer water uh, aggregate around the western arm of the indian ocean and there is cooling in the eastern part of the indian ocean so the westerlies are generally weak in the positive iod or easterlies are intensify in the positive iod as thermocline is shallow in the eastern part and the deep in the western part of the indian ocean this positive iod phase led heavier rainfall in the eastern east african country it helped to indian monsoon positively and in during the strong iod phase indian monsoon withdraw late uh, late october in the from the indian subcontinent as we noticed in the 2019 so the positive iod phase led a drought condition in the australian country and this drought condition is the one of the most leading parameter which drive the bush fire in the australian continent in this year 2019 another phenomena is negative iod phase westerlies during this phase is peak warm water develop around eastern indian ocean and cold water develop over the western indian ocean convective activity take place in the eastern part of the indian ocean and 
heavier rainfall take place in the in, uh, Indonesian countries and the Australian countries. Equatorial thermocline is shallow in the western part of the Indian Ocean and deep in the equatorial eastern Indian Ocean. So now basic question which generally people search and ask about the origin of IOD. In true sense origin of IOD events are, are unclear up to this date because there are lots of theory about the origin of Indian Ocean. Some people establish a link between the IOD and the INSO events through extension of Volker circulation to the west and associated Indian throw flow to the Indian Ocean. However, this is unlikely for several reasons. The first reason is that in INSO and IOD exhibit significantly different spectral behavior. Second, the IOD has peak power in 1960s and 1990s and ENSO in the 1970s and 1980s. As we observed during the 1997, which is earlier question asked in the net also, there is a strong El Nino and IOD event and the IOD event diminished the impact of El Nino in the Indian subcontinent. So this, uh, this is why the IOD events, the origin of IOD events are unclear till date. Again, describe the effect of positive phase and the connection of positive phase with the other climatic component of the surrounding countries. The first is during the positive phase there is a warmer water develop over the western pacific ocean that lead to the convergence and convergence leads finally to the uh, formation of clouds and with the help of adiabatic cooling that led the heavy rain rainfall in the east african country that is uh, we observed in a 2019 uh, the late withdrawal of the indian summer monsoon and the cooler drought condition in the western part of the australia these are some questions asked in the previous examination of the net the first is in 2016 which of the following is not a dominantly interannual phenomena as I told you INSO and Indian Ocean Dipole is nearly likely same phenomena and INSO and Indian Ocean Dipole is also occurring in the interannual basis frequency of INSO is from 5 to 7 years same in the Indian Ocean its frequency is also from 5 to 7 years so Indian summer monsoon is a seasonal phenomena but Madden Julian oscillation is a uh, monthly basis phenomena that is happen or occurred around 30 to 60 90 days in the equatorial region another question asked in 2018 which combination of the following condition apply to the positive indian ocean dipole events as we have seen in our ppt the first thing during positive indian ocean dipole warmer water develop over the western indian ocean so the first option is colder than normal sea surface temperature in the western tropical tropical Indian Ocean. We can eliminate this option with the help of uh, our study that because the warmer water develop over the western Indian Ocean. So we can eliminate one and then we can go to the answer. In all answer there is a presence of option one except option four. So the answer is option four only two and three. These events are seen from May to October as we see we have seen in our PPT shallowing of thermocline in the eastern equatorial Indian Ocean which is the attribute of positive Indian Ocean dipole. Next question is that, that is asked in uh, 2017 CSIR net examination December. During the year 1997 that witness one of the strongest El Nino of the century which of the following events negated its effect on the Indian subcontinent. So it was Indian Ocean dipoles. So, so dear students you can check both the phenomena El Nino and Indian Ocean Dipole play significant role in the, in the climate of Indian subcontinent specifically these both are related to the Indian summer monsoon and Indian summer monsoon is one of the most important phenomena that is uh, blessed Indian uh, people every year with its shower. So thank you these are some references from which uh, we take these detail and you can also refer to the for further study Saji at all and hand on at all 2003. Thank you.